Secondary, and I'm doing my first year in Foundation of Science and Engineering. Today's discussion is with Mr. Mutama. Thank you, sir, for taking us the time to speak with us today. Could you please tell us a little about yourself? Thank you for having me, Shashindri. Uh, actually, I'm Mutama Lekanayaka. I studied at Ananda College. So then, uh, after my A-levels, I thought of pursue my studies, high studies in the field of science. So I select the field of chemistry, then that's also a coincidence because of the influence of my one of my teach, I selected the chemistry stream. And then uh, when we are doing my undergraduate, I thought of uh, doing a research field. So I selected uh, one field on biochemistry, so I was able to uh, work with one of the best uh, biochemistry in Sri Lanka, Professor Sagari Kaikanayak. And she, by that time she was the department head, Biochemistry Medical Faculty USGP. So then, uh, once we are pursuing our research with her, she molded me a lot and she taught me A to Z from the, about the research work and everything. And then we published that uh, first research paper around 2012-2013. And when I was publishing that one, we thought of uh, pursuing that same research because uh, during that research we did actually a clinical study. So we thought of having uh, a mechanism understanding about that one. Right? So then I got a chance to talk to Professor Samantha Wielesinger from University of Colombo and uh, Sir is the best computational chemistry in Sri Lanka at the moment. So Sir helped me to uh, go through the mechanism and Sir asked me to do this, that one as a, my Master of Philosophy studies, my Masters. So then we started to do that one and we carried out it and uh, still I'm working with Sir very closely about the mechanisms of the biochemistries. Congratulations on being awarded the best performer of um, engineering and technology in the area of conducted by the, uh, concluded by the AIMR Thank you, conference. Yeah. Could you please tell us a bit about the award? Actually that was also part of a uh, my research with uh, Professor Samantha Singh and Professor Chamari Etiyarachi. So, you know that bitter gourd is uh, one of the plants that we are using to treat the diabetic patients. So, uh, when we are doing the literature studies, we saw that uh, there are several hypoglycemic compounds. So, out of those uh, hypoglycemic compounds, we saw that there are two compounds, carotene A and polypeptide P. That's a kind of a protein structure so we thought we saw that one those two compounds have higher effect on lowering the blood blood sugar level but the mechanism yet to be understand and also when you come for the structures as well so the polypeptide p structure yet to be understand so we thought of uh, studying about that one so we did uh, first we did the wet lab part with uh, under the supervision of professor chamari hitiarachi so we extracted the protein section and we determined the amino acid part of that and then uh, after that uh, we took the amino acid sequence and we did the homology modeling so during the homology modeling we were able to predict the structure for p insulin and uh, after predicting the base structures we did the energy minimization and those rest of the stabilization studies and then we docked that into the insulin receptor because we want to uh, see how it is behaving in respect to the insulin our natural protein in our body. So we observed that one uh, that it's docking very perfectly and then we did the molecular dynamics on that one to see the further stability in our body conditions and uh, we came across nice results on that one and we made uh, nice conclusions on that. So then uh, we took all those data together and we published it as an abstract during that uh, international symposium and for that one, we want that award. That's amazing, sir. To sum our discussion today, please give us your opinion about the research conducted in the areas of applied sciences, as well as what advice would you give to students who are pursuing towards the, such awards in future? Yes, yes, indeed. Now, when you come for the applied sciences, the stream of research is the core inside of that one. Because how much you learn the theory, it won't uh, affect you because you have to apply that theory, core theories into the practical applications. If you can't apply that for the practical applications, there is no use of that one. And also you get the best out of your lecturers when you are working so closely with them. So the research opened that door for you because we got the best from our lecturers when we are uh, closely working with them in the research stream. 
but not in the normal conventional lectures. So therefore, now as a lecturer, I am also trying to convey my knowledge and uh, we are always trying to uh, encourage the students for the stream of research. So as a one part of that one last year, very recently, with the help of Naloka College, we were able to publish uh, one abstract uh, about uh, robotic calm. We were able to manage to make that one to carry out the titrations in a chemical lab. And uh, like that, now students are fingers crossed for that one. So therefore, you have to work so hard. Sometimes failures are coming. You have to face the failures in the stream of research. But that's normal. So we have to work continuously because there are two kinds of failures. One failures are coming because you didn't work at all. Some failures are coming, you worked, but the conditions are different. But that's a good failure where you can learn a lot of things and you can readjust yourself and you can move forward as well. So therefore, you have to face the research stream which will help you to develop your analytical thinking, your application of the knowledge and that will benefit you, not only you actually, the propagation of the society and the country as well. Thank you so much sir for enlightening the knowledge about the research. I hope this video was very beneficial to all the youngsters to clarify their doubts regarding the research. Hoping to see you all again.